Welcome home, brave heroes. I'm Ash, this is Ash Quest, and I absolutely must share with you to increase the awareness as much as humanely possible, the Advanced Fighting Fantasy Dark Dungeons, the board game Kickstarter going on right now. And this Kickstarter, as of the time of this video, has 17 days to go. I'll be putting this up the next day, so it'll have about 16, over two weeks. And you can back the project right now. It has already met its funding goal, so it will be a reality as far as production goes. But there are a number of stretch goals that have yet to be reached that I don't think will actually be in the project if they aren't reached. And I think that this is going to be a pretty limited thing to get your hands on. So I did want to kind of bring it to as many people's attention as possible. Advanced Fighting Fantasy Dark Dungeons is one of a few different fighting fantasy really board game projects that are floating around this one is one of the newer ones it's it's still ongoing as far as crowdfunding goes uh, i'm going to be reading a lot of stuff verbatim we're going to just be watching the videos this is going to be a bit more of a chill sort of presentation uh, but it does mean something to me because fighting fantasy is something that i have a vested interest in as far as playing the books uh actually enjoying them here on the channel i played the warlock of firetop mountain which is the very first fighting fantasy game book and i plan on doing quite a few more of those here on the channel this also is interesting to me because it provides a solo experience if you're wanting to travel through the depths of a dangerous dungeon fighting fantasy style it only makes sense to me that they would give you a solo experience at least that's the default you can play this multiplayer there are a lot of options let's just dig into it and to do that first let's click this play button expand that oh by the way i think that like me you're gonna love the art for this so we'll just go ahead and skip by this dare you open the door uh-huh we have a lot of fade outs we'll just go ahead and skip through here yeah looks like really classy art i'm very i, I apologize i'm very sorry sean gray for skipping through your lovely music and for this skipping through the presentation a bit but you can back the project now it only had a goal of 26,118 usd uh this is based in the uk so unsure what this would have converted to i'm sure it was a nice even number but we've got 30 grand in the project now uh but Presentation box looks lovely, looks minimalistic. Really appreciate the majority of it being black and white. The style just looks really nice. It is a one to six player experience, ages nine plus. A game session should take about an hour and you can pledge money just a little bit without uh, pledging so much that you get a, a game. But the game pledge, as you can see, is 35 pounds, so about $46 USD. Um, really, compared to so many other board game experiences, Kickstarters and the like, this is a this is a substantially smaller amount than you might expect a board game to have, especially one that has licensing behind it. Um, I think there were a few people who approached Ian about getting board game licenses, and he just said yes to everybody who wanted one. So that's why you're going to see all these different. Uh, developers creating these different fighting fantasy board game projects which ones will be successful and which ones won't be i don't know in the end but this does fit right up my alley you get a copy of the game for 35 great british pounds it'll ship to anywhere in the world this does not include the shipping so beware uh the value of this pledge having additional tiers or this kickstarter having additional tiers is that you can get more than one copy of the game which i mean the double box option actually provides for you a discount as you might expect but there are actually mechanics in here that make use of more assets should you have them in your possession so it's not really limiting you it's not capping you because you don't have two copies of the game but it provides for the framework of giving you more stuff to do if you have more than one copy of the game it's kind of like if you had more than one treasure deck for your hero quest game you may be inclined to take certain cards from that treasure deck and shuffle them into your your main treasure deck okay so that's kind of a no-brainer example but specifically for multiplayer games, it could be handy to have more than one copy of the game. Uh, we have lingered on this picture of the game long enough. Let's scroll down and read some of the features. Simple mechanics with lots of tactical options, easy to learn, random dungeons and lots of cards means every game is different. And by the way, if you didn't catch it, these are modular tiles here in the picture. I really appreciate that. 
uh, replayability, of course, classic black and white art evoking the feel of the timeless game books, and play competitively, cooperatively, or as a solo player. We've got three different game modes here. The components include 100 adventure cards, and I love the look of the adventure cards, 61 dungeon tiles, so more than enough to have a wide variety of dungeon crawling experiences as a solo player or as multiple players, 24 spell cards, 50 treasure cards, 27 ability cards, 8 hero sheets, and tokens and dice. And if this image is a final version, uh, then it's evident that those are black and white art tiles. Interesting. Interesting. And the dice, of course. But I think it could be a black and white picture of colored stuff. Not not entirely sure. We'll, we'll delve into that as we get down this page. Gameplay. Build. Explore the dungeon by placing tiles in turn. Draw adventure cards in rooms. Ogre. What does this guy do? He's picking his nose. A hulking creature squats among a litter of chewed bones. It is rooting around in one nostril and seems very preoccupied by what it might find. This ogre seems dangerous. We have symbols at the bottom of this card. This is an encounter. A sword running away. Eyeball, no see, so I guess he doesn't see you. Run with loot and loot bag. Read the narrative text, choose an option, turn over and resolve your action. So what do we have in the card? Skill, eight plus, stamina one, success five, success nine, fight on fail, success 10, fight on fail plus one, two treasures. Interestingly laid out, if you defeat a monster or successfully steal, you may gain a treasure. And here we have a healing potion card, a clear glass bottle with an embossed healing rune and filled with a thick and gloopy pink liquid. Great. It's the influencer pink shake, a discard to restore your stamina tokens to the starting value. And then eventually find the lair of the boss and try to defeat them if you can. We see different things here on the tiles that look really interesting to me. Some locks on doors some branching paths, some corridors that twist and turn. There's not a lot of room tiles laid out here before you get to the boss, so it looks like games could be confined to a nice small space, uh, but whatever mode you play, you only have a limited time, 30 turns. There are stretch goals. We'll get into those after we explore the rest of the tiers available. If you pledge 80 Great British Pounds, you'll get a copy of the board game, a set of custom dice, a copy of the art book, and a random art print signed by the artist. So this is kind of like the, the gold tier, everything's included, single copy of the game tier with your extra art and stuff. The double box fan edition, you get two of the core game boxes plus the set of custom dice and a copy of the art book and a random art print signed by the artist. That is a hundred great British pounds. It's really structured in such a way that if you're going to get this one, you might as well get the one right above it instead. The multi box option is 130 GBP. This is ideal for games clubs, schools, or anyone else who wants to run multiple games at the same time. With this pledge level, you get four of the core game boxes. And while I'm generally pretty pretty against like reselling uh, for legitimate game stores and such this is a great value and if you're just you know a reseller who has an ebay shop this might be worth investing in so that you can keep one or two of the copies and sell the other two or three signed limited edition 250 pounds about 327 dollars gets you a limited number a limited, a numbered limited edition version of the game, sorry, signed by Ian Livingston and Steve Jackson. Yes, that Ian Livingston and that Steve Jackson. Additional black and white dungeon tiles, a special box design, and custom dice. This one is pretty special. It's got six backers as of the time of this video. And the retailer pledge, you'll receive two cartons, which is 12 copies in total of the base game at distributor prices, 252 pounds. That is Man, basically that's 20 pounds per copy, hugely discounted. And then the ultimate collector, that's 500 pounds, about $653 USD. This actually has three backers. You'll get a numbered limited edition version of the game and a copy of the art book, both signed by Ian Livingston, Steve Jackson. You'll get a standard version of the game for everyday use, and you'll receive 10 random art prints signed by the artists, all the unlocked stretch goals, and you'll also be listed in the rulebook as a top backer of the campaign. That is pretty cool. I don't know what other tiers actually include you in the rule book. It's probably just the top tier. I'm not sure which tiers get you the stretch goals. Hopefully it's all of the tiers. All the tiers should, in my opinion, include the stretch goals, but that's not factually how this might work out. So let's continue. For stretch goals at 25,000, 
great British pounds, especially composed ambient audio soundtrack to get you in the mood for braving the dungeon, that has been unlocked. Better dungeons card expansion pack, add in new features such as stairs, weapons, and goals. This will be added free to fan, limited, and ultimate pledges and available as an add-on. Okay, okay, so it actually does tell you what's available here, and I didn't think about the add-ons option. Probably we have the option to add on the soundtrack as well, I'm willing to bet. Hero Miniatures. Blue Giant Studios will sculpt miniatures of all eight heroes. This will be added to the ultimate pledge level and available as an add-on. I'm a huge fan of the uh, miniatures for a fighting fantasy game on paper. I think that's a great idea. I hope that this is able to meet this funding goal. If anything, I hope I can help people flock to this and go help this get funded so that this goal in particular gets met. But the next two are really cool as well. Better Dungeons 11 card expansion pack featuring a separate trap deck, wandering monsters, and more added free to fan limited and ultimate pledges and available as an add-on. Basically, basically this is going to make the game more playable. It's going to make it bigger. It's going to make it more expansive. And there are two bosses that will get their own sculpts. This will be added to the ultimate pledge level and available as an add-on if the campaign reaches 60 GBP, 60,000 GBP. It's estimated that shipping to the UK will be 10 pounds, 15 pounds for shipping to the USA, 16 to the rest of the EU, 23 to other Europe, 30 to Canada, and so on. You might see your territory or country listed here, in which case you'll be able to see how much it's estimated to be shipping. Their fulfillment partner is Games Quest. Customs friendly shipping to Asia, Australia, New Zealand, USA, Canada, EU, and UK. Digital rewards are fulfilled by drive through RPG. And there's just a little bit more information here talking about environmental commitments, risks, and challenges, things common to Kickstarters and the like. No questions in the FAQ as of this video. So yeah, I have backed this. I will be definitely getting into the add-ons once everything is ready to be paid out, orders finalized, and I will be getting as much as I can in the add-on section, all the stretch goals that are available as add-ons at that time. And I personally cannot wait to get this one because I think it'll just be really cool to have a board game modular tile laying version of an advanced fighting fantasy experience on whatever level in whatever context. I hope you do too. If this video has enlightened you to this project and you must have it, if you are otherwise now convinced to go get it, please drop a comment below letting me know that this video was the catalyst to inspire that. That's it for this video. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you the next one. Until then, bye for now.